What's good people, James here, coming back at you with another James Taught Me That JTMT video. If you are new to the channel, please check out the intro video that's on the channel homepage and consider subscribing because it really helps out the channel and helps us all learn some new things together, right? So today we're gonna be talking about different types of distributions. We have positive skew, negative skew, and I just wanted to briefly show you some of the mnemonics that I use to memorize these. A lot of the time we'll see normal distributions in the center here, and then we have skewed distributions. A lot of the images and professors like to put positive on the left and negative on the right and I'm not a huge fan of this personally so I'm gonna do my best to kind of sketch this out I like to do a circle here and another circle here and I like to make a little nerdy stats professor and we come up and we go down and we come up and we go down and this way because in my mind I always think negatives on the left I always think that the that the center is right here and that's where like zero would be and this is negative and this is positive so if this helps you out I hope it does because this is what I used on all of my tests I would literally draw this little face here with these glasses and that's all I would picture and I would think that this is negatively skewed. The other way I thought of it was that you had this like big massive weight that's kind of like pushing down on the graph and it's like slamming down really hard and this would be on the negative side and then in a similar situation you have this like bomb that was just dropped and it just slams down and it just crashes into the graph and pushes it to the side. And then when you erase all the mnemonic part of it, you kind of can start to see that you have a positive graph on one side and a negative graph on the other side. And it kind of helps out understanding what these charts might be. And we have our negative graph over here, positive graph over here. And this is how I memorized it for my tests. So I strongly recommend you take out a piece of paper real quick and just draw that. Just draw the two little circles and just draw the little tails and link the glasses even kind of maybe maybe you could bring this down to kind of help you out and just remember negative and positive and it just becomes so much easier because then next thing you know it you're drawing graphs like that you're like oh I know that's on this side I can recognize that or if someone draws a graph like this and you're like oh well that's not really skewed at all that seems pretty normal I can divide that down the middle. But if you divide this down the middle, you see that it's on one side more and less on the other. And we really, when we're referring to the graph, we're talking about what's missing. It looks like there's missing data on this side. It doesn't really, we don't talk about that there's more on this side. We're like, why are there so few over here? And if you notice up here, the other reason why I don't like this drawing is because when we talk about right versus left, so again, we draw our little nerdy stats professor here. When we draw those, those curves and we notice one's on the right and one's on the left. So if someone asked you what's uh, skewed right, I want you to think the right side. This is skewed right. And this is skewed left. And then you know this is positive and this is negative because typically we just think of the number line as negative one or negative two and positive one and, and positive two. And we think of it in terms of this zero central and we go to the right to go positive and go to the left to go negative. That's that's high school stuff. We've been doing the number line for how long? So now this, this diagram not only shows you positive versus negative skew, but then when if someone says, hey, the graph is skewed, draw a graph that's skewed left. You can go like this. The tail is on the left, or the tail is on the right. So if someone says, draw a positively skewed diagram, you could go like this, because you know that we're talking about where the data looks like it's missing. Obviously it's not missing, but it, maybe it could be. Maybe the experiment was flawed. So when they collected the data, it was wrong. So maybe it is missing, but that's what we typically refer to when we're talking about positive or negative skews. And that is what I drew on every single one of my tests. Like I'm not even kidding you. And I strongly recommend you try it. So just take some blank paper out and just draw that little diagram. Just keep getting used to drawing it. And, and eventually you just really, you really get into the mode where you don't even think about it anymore. That just answered like 10 questions on your test just because you knew how to draw that. And that's that's what these videos are all about is just little tiny things that it's going to help you so much. If you can just remember that, then you're golden like that. Just that answered so many questions on the test to really help you out. Now, the hard part is when we talk about like mode, median and mean. And we're going to talk about that in another video. Just so this one's separate, just so that people can remember this guy right here. Maybe we'll make that the thumbnail. People will be like, what the hell? All right, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Be sure to check out some of these videos here and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.